I'm doing something a little bit different today. I don't normally fish this spot, but I am looking for flounder. I'm actually on the intercoastal. Normally I'm fishing Gulf side, but it's calm. The, I think that flounder are probably gonna be moving in and out of the bays right now just because of the time of year and with the temperature changes. So just trying something a little bit different, just bouncing a gulp, a gulp jig on the bottom and seeing what I can find. In this intercoastal channel, whatever you call it, the pass, there's a pretty steep drop off going down right off of the beach. So I'm just bouncing this gulp on the bottom, dragging it up and hoping that there's some flounder hanging around waiting to ambush. But it's nice to be out here, you know, we'll change the scenery. I'm usually on the beach, so you know, you're, you're looking out into the, into the gulf, but kind of cool to watch see what's going on there's a lot of birds everywhere over here so it's pretty neat nice little change of speed Flounder on. It's a nice one. Yes. Target species right here. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful flounder. <laughs> Heck yes. That is what I'm talking about. He's right at 15. Beautiful flounder, a lot of meat on these. That is great, first flounder of the day. Look how camouflage this flounder is. I've got it on my stringer and the water's super clear, but check that out, man. They are just some really cool fish. I mean, I don't even know if you can see it, but um, I don't have my waterproof stuff on, so I can't put this in the water, but hopefully you can kind of see the flounder. I mean, he's right there, but it is super camouflaged. Let me see, let me see if I can agitate him and get him to move. He's on my stringer. Oh, no, I don't know how lot, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just unbelievable. They are so cool. Well, we got our one flounder. I uh, fished for a couple more hours afterwards, couldn't find any more. But I'm gonna take this one home. I'm gonna fillet it up and I'm gonna show you guys a awesome recipe that uh, works great for flounder. A lot of folks cook these whole and do, or do like stuffed flounder. But uh, if you wanna fillet it out and cook just the fillets with no skin, no bones, this is the way to do it. So I'll see you guys back at the house. filleted out and ready to go and if you want to see the full video of me filleting the flounder if you want to see the whole tutorial uh, subscribe to my email list I have a Facebook group specifically for additional content I try to be careful about what I post on Facebook and on YouTube got to play by their rules and they're pretty picky on graphic content and things like that so just trying to be careful with that. So if you do want to see the full video, be sure to subscribe to that email list. Today, we're going to cook a flounder in a lemon butter parsley sauce. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm also going to cook some rice uh, with black beans. 
So first step, we're gonna take some flour, and depending on how many fillets you have, you just wanna gauge it on that. I'm using about a quarter of a cup for the amount of fish that we have here. Also, you wanna take some salt and pepper. I don't measure this out. I do everything to taste, so I can't give you the measurements on that, but just depending on how much you like, you can figure that out for yourself. I do also add in a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning as well. So now you just wanna take the fillets and dab them in the flour with the salt and pepper and lemon pepper seasoning. You don't have to cover it completely, you just want a nice base on each side. I'm going to let the fillets sit while we let our skillet get hot. And you just wanna use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm turning the stove to about medium heat. So now our fillets are ready for the pan. I'm just gonna set them in. And cook time is gonna vary. Uh, it even varies from skillet to skillet. So this is gonna take anywhere from eight to 12 minutes to cook thoroughly. And while that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and prepare our rice. I use instant rice, so I cheat a little bit here. Makes it real easy. All I'm doing is boiling some water and using the instant rice. So that takes uh, just about six to eight minutes to complete. And then I'm also using black beans and I'm just using a can and they're ready to go. All you have to do here is just put them in the microwave uh, for a couple of minutes to heat those up and that'll be ready to go. Once the water's boiling for the rice and we pour the rice in, I go ahead and mix in some seasonings. I use Everglades, a little bit of chili powder and salt and pepper. Again, I don't have measurements here, I apologize. I just do it to taste. Now that our fish fillets are done, it's time to make our lemon butter parsley sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fillets from the pan. I'm gonna add in some butter I'm also going to squeeze in one lemon and I'm just going to pour in some parsley flakes and I just use the pre-cut parsley flakes for this. Once our butter is melted, it's ready to put the fillets back into the pan and just let that sit uh, for just a few minutes just to kind of let it soak in that sauce. Now everything is ready to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fillets from the skillet and just drizzle on a little bit of the sauce on top of the fish. Our food is ready, can't wait to eat it. Courtney, you wanna do the honors? You wanna take first bite? My hand's a little shaky. Thumbs up. All right, I gotta try a bite. Here, you wanna hold it? Mm -hmm. Got a nice big old bite. If you can see that there. It's so good. It's kind of like a, you know, with, I just kind of came up with it uh, with the Everglades. It works great. Of course, the chili powder gives it kind of like a Cajun y kind of feel. Man, this is so good. Guys, you gotta try this recipe. Um, especially the, the fish with the rice and black beans. Perfect, perfect match. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gives you some ideas on how, how to cook. My dog is freaking out right now. She really wants some food. I hope it gives you some ideas on how to cook flounder. Uh, any fish really works well with this. Pompano works well with it too. Uh, but really just a great recipe. Uh, hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that. If you haven't liked my Facebook page, go ahead and give that a like and follow that as well. Belle, you're gonna have to calm down. I don't know if you can hear her or not. But guys, appreciate everything you do. And as always, stay bummy.